Hello and welcome to Complete Games and we continue, finally, <laughs> with the centre map playthrough. And let me bring you up to speed on what's been going on. So, this is a live server, consequently because I haven't logged in for a while, I've lost a couple of my tames, some things run out of time on cryopods in my inventory and I think an otter starved to death. But all of the important stuff was backed up and... When we left off, I was breeding Rexes, so this is where I got with my Rexes. I got a couple of health mutations, a couple of mini mutations on them, and this one is currently my caving Rex, so I leveled it up for the caves, but you can see they're pretty healthy, and they'd probably do well against the Guardians as they are if I had a Rex saddle, but I wanted to be a bit more creative than going in with Rexes and see what else we could do. Tribute-wise, well, I'm doing really well for Spino Saddles. Where I've chose to build here has been pretty good along this river, and I've made a point of grabbing every Spino sail I come across. The rest of the tributes I'm not so worried about. We don't actually need Giga Hearts on this map. Do need to work on Sarko skins, so could do with a trip to the bog. So tribute-wise, we're all right. Saddle-wise, the best I have is this Rhino Saddle, and I'd go with rhinos, woolly rhinos, there's plenty of them on this map, but it's three and a half thousand cementing pace per saddle, so I don't know. But uh, weapons wise, I got a shotgun, I got 270% weapons damage on that, and the long neck's pretty good, 375% weapons damage, but they're better than the uh, primitive versions, and the long neck's actually pretty good. So. They're the best blueprints that I've come across. But if we're going to go with rhinos, then I'm going to need a way to get a lot of cementing paste. And just farming beaver dams is not going to be enough. And, well, I'm also going to need to make veggie cakes. So plan today is I want to show you over to the redwoods because taming a bee is usually a pain in the ass. But... I don't know if Wildcard has patched something or they've changed something, but on this map, there's a way to grab bees pretty easy. Now, usually I'd go with fire arrows or something like that, but the... Let's just grab this bug repellent. Don't need all of it, but yeah. We will need some bug repellent, and uh, I'm going to head out to the Redwoods to just show you how I've been grabbing the beehives. And... Just over the top of this hill here is where I've been getting most of my cement in paste. There's two or three ponds up the top here that has plenty of beaver dams. So we're going to need to harvest as many of them as we can. That's been the way I've been getting my rare flowers. And I suppose we could tame a Bronto and go over to the swamp. Especially if we got to feed plenty of beehives. But yeah, just over the top here is a beaver dam. So, is there any spawned back? I try and grab them as much as I can. There's like, I say, three of them. If you do the rotation, you can end up with a good 4,000 cementing pace. So, just doing these three ponds alone, I would say each time would get us a rhino saddle. Always drop the wood first and uh, yeah they're not going to be happy about that so let's just clear the beavers out of the way just come over this side and do it okay so there's a couple more here but yeah generally speaking you can get around about a thousand cementing paste out of each one of these little ponds there's another dam just in there and That'll help chip away at things. Like I say, if we did all three of these ponds on a rotation 19 times, that would be the amount of saddles. But the plan is, well, we're going to have to get some snails. And that means we need honey. And not the type that Mr. Beast is trying to sell you. So, how much did we end up with there? Look, yeah, close to a thousand cement in pace. So if we hit all of the beaver dams... It's almost one Rhino Saddle, if we went Rhino Saddle way, but let me know in the comments if you reckon I should uh, should breed up, breed up some Rhinos. I've still got to do more caves, so we never know what type of loot 
we'll come across, but let me know in the comments. And let's head out to the redwoods. Uh, I do love the redwood biome, but problem is, it's just full of death everywhere. Like, there's an alpha raptor just there. Is that? I thought it was a double alpha raptor for a second. There are plenty of alphas on this map. It's quite healthy, but I do really like this biome. It's just, I prefer going around it in the day so you don't get jumped. And level 95. I have tamed some Phylocolios. It's just, I haven't found any decent numbers really. What I need is the claws. So I'm going to make a point of grabbing some of the talons now because I need to collect them tributes as well. And I've just completely messed that up. Usually you can just grab them out of the tree if you come down at the right angle. And um, yeah, I would only have one round in my shotgun, wouldn't I? Uh, okay. Well, that's not how to grab a, a phylo out of the tree. And, uh, but I will take your claws. Philo, probably my favourite creature in the game. I just don't like it when they jump you. <laughs> okay, let's find a beehive. Okay, so I've got a beehive. Now, I've done guides about taming bees, about how to trap them, using fire arrows and all of that stuff, but it's never been this easy. So check this out. I'm at distance with a long neck. I'm going to put some bug repellent on, but we don't actually need that quite yet because from here... The drones are not going to aggro us. So, there we go. Get a shot on it just there. Okay, there you go. So we've destroyed the nest. Now, ordinarily, what would happen now is the queen would just stay in the tree up there. But check this out. It doesn't happen every time, but most of the time. There we go. And the queen, as you can see, is just coming down to the ground. So I don't know if it's to do with the redwoods trees, but... This was a real pain, especially on Genesis, because the beehives would be really high up in the trees, and this never used to happen. So, I think they've changed something. So consequently, you don't need fire arrows, you don't need a bear, you just need a long neck. You wait there. Now, I generally crouch, and with the bug repellent, and we've got... Well, I've got exceptional kibble, but any kibble uh, will work from regular onwards. Oh, typical Carno. Oh, and it's ignored me. Gone straight for dead man. Okay. Maybe the uh, bug repellent had some effect there. But yeah, as you can see, definitely Wildcard has changed something about how the bee works. And, well, whatever they've done... It seems it's just as simple as shooting it f from distance and uh, yeah and then just walking up and grabbing it <laughs> not really not really a challenge anymore but uh, let's just continue on now while we're in the redwoods I just wanted to continue on to the waterfall at the back here because there's a really cool cave it's not an artifact cave but it spawns plenty of megalania and we do need we, we will need megalania Toxin, so let's go and grab a load of that and I'll show you where that is. Okay, so the night time's coming in. I'm just going to set up a little camp at this waterfall. It's it's pretty easy to find. There's two giant waterfalls at the back of the redwoods and this cave just sits at the top. Make a nice base cave, actually. Um, but unfortunately, it's foggy at the moment, so you can't really see all of the details at the back of the cave but we'll hold up here for the night and I need to cook some meat off anyway because a pego nicked all of my burgers. I hate pegos. But yeah, you can't really see to the back of the cave yet because the fog's kind of affecting things, but I'll just wait it out here because I prefer not to fly around the redwoods at night, especially with triodons. Okay, now the fog has cleared up, we can see to the back of the cave, and it's not an artifact cave, but it does spawn plenty of megalania, and there is some cool details in the back of this cave with some 
handprints on all of the stone and I think it would make a really good base location but nice details at the back there and I've been farming plenty of Megalania toxin they s seem to spawn back really quickly so just one night here will pretty much get you all of the toxin that you need and this one seems pretty tanky level are you um don't want to kill a really high level one 95 uh, it must have uh, eaten one of the other creatures as I was killing it because it just felt a lot tankier than that but yeah we've got all these cool handprints all over the cave here and I don't know it's just a cool little spot would make a nice little base location and I forget I would just point it out and I think we've done well enough to be able to call it a day on Megalania Toxin so I need 30 of each tribute and the Gamma boss fight doesn't require any tributes to get in, it just requires the six artifacts, but the beta requires 10 and the alpha requires 20. So we need 30 of each and there you go, so I've just got 34 Megalania toxins, so we're done with Megalania farming. And like I said at the beginning, the awkward one was always going to be that Spino Sail tribute, so I've got pretty much what we're going to need with the Spino sails. That was the one I was worried about the most. We could do with a few more Phylocolio claws, but I'm almost there with that one as well. And like I say, because we don't require the Giga Heart, and I don't think we require Allosaurus brains either. So it's we're looking we're looking pretty healthy. Let's see if we can find some more bees. Okay, has it just gone there? Yeah. So, just want to put it to the test. Shooting another one at distance. Like I say, it's not worked every time, but I've done this several times now. And to me, it just seems... Yeah, there you go. It's difficult to see. I thought I could hear it. But they sometimes jump down in the bushes. It's difficult to find them. I'll take it, I'll take it. So honey is definitely not going to be a problem anymore. And I know it never used to be that simple. <laughs> but apparently that's that's all, all you need to do now, is just shoot the thing from distance. Surprise, motherfucker! Ooh, that just got yeeted, that pterodon. That would have been me as well, that Philo would have got me, because I'm facing behind it. It's always the problem in the Redwoods. Ah, oh dear. Okay. Just make sure we got the Talons, but I think I'm about ready to call it a day on the Redwoods. Couple more, so eight Philo Talons. So 34 Megalania Toxins, we're pretty good for those two tributes. We'll head back to base. Need to get some more food as well. Let's head back to base. Okay, so that pretty much brings you up to date on the center map playthrough and how I'm thinking we're gonna go about defeating these guardians. So we've got beehives now, so we should have plenty of honey coming in. I put these down yesterday and it looks like we're getting about 40 odd every 24 hours out of these three hives. That's if I can harvest all three of them without dying. Because <laughs> it keeps on resetting the counter every time I open them. But yeah, three should do it. And if we make some veggie cakes, I'll be able to tame some snails. And that's another way we can get cementing paste or acatina paste. And I definitely don't want to have to get Akatina paste by going round to all of the beaver dams. I mean, it's okay just supplementing it a little bit that way, but I think to really get them saddles done in a quick time, we're going to have to make a snail farm. My kitchen isn't the greatest, but I didn't want to have great big pipes going across my beach. So 
we're making do with the water tanks and on this map it's not too bad it, it rains every day on the center map so it's just about good enough i think really our bottleneck's probably going to be more sap and honey than it is actually the amount of water we have but yep yeah, we've got veggie cakes and yeah i managed to make 13 but i did do some med brews as well so that just go through the water um but ordinarily this little greenhouse functions well enough and i better close these doors because my beetles will get out so as you can see we're progressing pretty well on this map it shouldn't be too long before we get to the guardians next time i'm going to be showing you guys around the artifact of the pack cave because that one's got a little bit of a trick to it but until next time i'm james from complete games and i'll see you